Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. To replace the circulation motor, you will need to uninstall the dishwasher first. To do this, turn off the power supply to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Remove the screws to release the lower access panel or panels. Disconnect the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Remove the screw to release the terminal block cover plate. Please note the location of the wires. Now untwist the wire nut to disconnect the wires. and loosen the screw to release the grounding wire. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the strain relief nut and pull the wires out of the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Remove the mounting bracket screws and screw in the front leveling legs to make moving the appliance easier. Now, to avoid damage, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Once removed, carefully tilt the dishwasher back so its rear panel rests on a towel or carpet. You're now ready to replace the circulation motor. Disconnect the wire harness first. Next, remove the bolts securing the old circulation motor and pull out the shield if applicable. Rotate the old motor counterclockwise to detach. Install the new circulation motor by pushing it directly into the sump opening and rotate clockwise to mount. Replace the shield if necessary and secure the bolt. Reconnect the wire harness. Carefully lift the dishwasher to its upright position. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Raise the leveling legs and secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Feed the electric line back through the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Connect the wires using the wire nuts and secure the grounding wire. Replace the cover plate. Reconnect the water supply line. Replace the lower access panel or panels. And secure the screws. Turn the water back on, as well as the power supply, to make sure the dishwasher is functioning properly.